Hey Alpha Nurses, I'm Nurse Sandro from alphanurseguide.com. This is NCLEX Iron Review Lesson 2, Neurological Medication Questions. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok to get any updates. All links are in the description. Without the way, let's get started. Question 1. Carbidopa levodopa is prescribed for a client with Parkinson's disease. The nurse monitors the client for side and adverse effects of the medication which finding indicates that the client is experiencing an adverse effect. A. Pruritus B. Tachycardia C. Hypertension D. Impaired voluntary movements The correct answer is D. Impaired voluntary movements. Rationale, dyskinesia, and impaired voluntary movements may occur with high carbidopolivodopa dosages. Nausea, anorexia, dizziness, orthostatic hypotension, bradycardia, and akinesia are frequent side effects of the medication. Question 2. The home health nurse visits a client who is taking phenytoin for control of seizures. During the assessment, the nurse notes that the client is taking birth control pills. Which information should the nurse include in the teaching plan? A. Pregnancy must be avoided while taking phenytoin. B. The client may stop the medication if it is causing severe gastrointestinal effects. C. There is the potential of decreased effectiveness of birth control pills while taking phenytoin. D. There is the increased risk of thrombophlebitis while taking phenytoin and birth control pills together. The correct answer is C. There is the potential of decreased effectiveness of birth control pills while taking phenytoin. Rationale, phenytoin enhances the rate of estrogen metabolism, which can decrease the effectiveness of some birth control pills. Pregnancy does not need to be avoided while taking phenytoin, however, because phenytoin may cause some risk to the fetus, consultation with the healthcare provider should be done if pregnancy is considered. Telling a client that there is an increased risk of thrombophlebitis is incorrect and inappropriate and could cause anxiety in the client. A client should not be instructed to stop anti-seizure medication. Question 3. The nurse is caring for a client in the emergency department who has been diagnosed with Bell's palsy. The client has been taking acetaminophen and acetaminophen overdose is suspected. Which antidote should the nurse prepare for administration if prescribed? A. Pentostatin B. Oranofen C. Fludarabine D. Acetylcysteine The correct answer is D. Acetylcysteine. Rationale, the antidote for acetaminophen is acetylcysteine. The normal therapeutic serum level of acetaminophen is 10 to 20 micrograms per milliliters. A toxic level is higher than 50 micrograms per milliliters, and levels higher than 100 micrograms per milliliters could indicate hepatotoxicity. Oranofen is a gold preparation that may be used to treat rheumatoid arthritis. Pentostatin and fludarabine are antineoplastic agents. Question 4. Meparidine has been prescribed for a client to treat pain. Which side and adverse effects should the nurse monitor for? Select all that apply. A. Diarrhea. B. Tremors. C. Drowsiness. D. Hypotension. E. Urinary frequency. F. Increased respiratory rate. The correct answers are B, tremors, C, drowsiness, and D, hypotension. Rationale, meparidine is an opioid analgesic. Side and adverse effects include respiratory depression, drowsiness, hypotension, constipation, urinary retention, nausea, vomiting, and tremors. Question 5. A client is taking the prescribed dose of phenytoin to control seizures. Results of a phenytoin blood level study reveal a level of 35 micrograms per milliliters. Which finding would be expected as a result of this laboratory result? A. Hypotension. B. Tachycardia. C. Slurred speech. D. No abnormal finding. 
The correct answer is C. Slurred speech. Rationale, the therapeutic phenytoin level is 10 to 20 micrograms per milliliters. At a level higher than 20 micrograms per milliliters, involuntary movements of the eyeballs can occur. At a level higher than 30 micrograms per milliliters, ataxia and slurred speech can occur. Question 6. The client arrives at the emergency department, complaining of back spasms. The client states, I have been taking 2 to 3 aspirin, every 4 hours for the last week, and it hasn't helped my back. Since acetylsalicylic acid intoxication is suspected, the nurse should assess the client for which manifestation. A. Tinnitus. B. Diarrhea. C. Constipation. D. Photosensitivity. The correct answer is A. Tinnitus. Rationale, mild intoxication with acetylsalicylic acid is called salicylism and is experienced commonly when the daily dosage is higher than 4 grams. Tinnitus is the most frequent effect noted with intoxication. Hyperventilation may occur because salicylate stimulates the respiratory center. Fever may occur because salicylate interferes with the metabolic pathways, coupling oxygen consumption and heat production. Question 7. A client with trigeminal neuralgia is being treated with carbamazepine, 400 mg orally daily, which value indicates that the client is experiencing an adverse effect to the medication. A. Sodium level, 140 milli equivalents per liter. B. Uric acid level, 4.0 mg per deciliter. C. White blood cell count, 3000 cubic millimeter. D. Blood urea nitrogen level, 10 mg per deciliter. The correct answer is C. White blood cell count, 3000 cubic millimeter. Rationale, adverse effects of carbamazepine, appear as blood dyscrasias, including aplastic anemia, agranulocytosis, thrombocytopenia, and leukopenia, cardiovascular disturbances, including thrombophlebitis and dysrhythmias, and dermatological effects. The low white blood cell count reflects agranulocytosis. The laboratory values in options A, B, and D are normal values. Question 8. The nurse is caring for a client with chronic back pain. Codeine has been prescribed for the client. Specific to this medication, which intervention should the nurse include in the plan of care while the client is taking this medication? A. Monitor radial pulse. B. Monitor bowel activity. C. Monitor apical heart rate. D. Monitor peripheral pulses. The correct answer is B. Monitor bowel activity. Rationale While the client is taking codeine, the nurse would monitor vital signs and assess for hypotension. The nurse also should increase fluid intake, palpate the bladder for urinary retention, auscultate bowel sounds and monitor the pattern of daily bowel activity and stool consistency because the medication causes constipation. The nurse should monitor respiratory status and initiate deep breathing and coughing exercises. In addition, the nurse monitors the effectiveness of the pain medication. That's all I have for this video. Please like, share, let me know if you have any questions. If not, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.